Okay, so I have to curl my hair, and my hair is thick. So I am doing these freaking separate braids. No, I'm not like, I'm not going to school like this. The only reason why I am doing this is so I can have curly hair tomorrow. And I will have an update on how my hair is doing in like part two or something. Because this right here is gonna take me so long. Like I've already been here for what, 10 minutes? And I've only got this much done. And currently it is 8.45. I'm going to try to get this done by like 9.30. My whole freaking head. Oh my gosh. Like, guys, please help. And look at this. I have a whole tub of rubber bands. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That whole thing is full of rubber bands. I'm trying to just use the yellow ones. Honestly, I honestly don't give a crap because why does it matter? Where's that one that I didn't tie it? There it is. I found it. Don't worry. Why are you worrying anyway? Like. Oh yeah, so about my boyfriend. I'm curling my hair for my boyfriend. No, I'm curling my hair for Kaden because Kaden is Karen's boyfriend. If you guys don't know who Karen is, Karen and Beans. If you guys don't know who, um, um, Karen, Beans, and Chubby is, you guys should go see, because, yeah, you should just, you should just go see. kind of just like imagining a scenario in my head so I'll give you like a re story about what happened so we were in library and Miss Davis she is the worst library teacher ever I am telling you guys she is so bad and yes I am sitting on my table in front of a mirror doing this so I'm not judging me so, yeah, she is the worst library teacher ever, and she was calling out, um, like, colors to, um, go get, like, tiles or whatever to play with, and I'm fourth grade, so, like, why do we need tiles, like, not Bob the Builder, what the heck, and so she, she called out one thing, and she got to sit by Chubby, which is her crush, and then she knows that I am dating this one guy in my class, um, Beans, and Beans was sitting back there. He has a broken leg, by the way, so he, he, he can't move, obviously. So, um, Emerson uh, is one of our teachers at the school, and she was, she was like, next door, and she probably heard us, but Miss Davis, because Miss Davis is a literal freaking idiot like all of our parents have pretty much filed a complaint over her because she is so bad and so mean to us we're literally trying to get her fired um because she deserves it and she will literally call us out for the most random random things like kira you didn't finish your um homework from last month like last month like it's like she has like she for she's like dory she forgets everything and we're like nemo because we're trying to get away from her and then we get swooped up by her again like they get swooped up by the divers and we get trapped in her library and she won't let us leave 
such a, so annoying. Who came up with Miss Davis? I mean, it suits her really well. Her name should be Karen, though. I'm a good kid, so I don't show sass to her. If I would, I could. Like, if she was getting fired the next day, oh my god. I would literally, like, when I would walk in, all my friends would be like, speak of the devil. Like, because they know I'm going to be really bad for her. And she can't send me to the principal's office because she's getting fired. So, yeah. So happy about that. I mean, I wish she was getting fired. Oh, yeah. Finish the story. So, Emerson was... I keep calling her Emerson. Her name is not Emerson. Beans... Beans was sitting at the back because he didn't want anybody to be there. And Emerson got called yellow and Jack... Beans had blue, and uh, Karen had um, got uh, the color yellow, and yellow wasn't next to blue, which where Beans was sitting. So Beans, um, he, uh, come on, I can't think. He was sitting back there by himself and didn't want, he did not want anybody to sit with him except for me, because I'm his girlfriend, and I had yellow, and I was walking over there, and she moved hers, put mine on a different table! So I had to move, and I couldn't tell, because then I would be called a tattletale, and Emerson would get in trouble. And then I literally gave her the death stare. Like, I was like... And I literally wrote it out. This is what it looked like. I... No, I literally said under my breath, you little dork. And she know what I was saying. And she, she was doing it on purpose, so she smiled back at me. So now I'm stealing um, um, Chubby from her because um, she did it to me, I'm doing it to him. She did it to me, I'm doing it to her. So tomorrow's going to be fun, and I'm going to tell her that I know what she's trying to do with beans. Like, it's very obvious, actually. And it's kind of frustrating. But yeah, I kind of got all my anger out. So, thank you guys for listening to me. If you're still here, you probably aren't. But if you guys are still here, thank you. And uh, I love you guys. Bye, jockeys.